what is up youtube it's a new week it's a new video we are back in here once again and today we got an undercut tutorial all right so to get started with this cut we're going to take down the bulk using the one and a half blade which is equivalent to a one guard open when you're doing this make sure that you hold the hair on top down so that you don't accidentally cut any of it we're going to follow that up by making a bald line this is basically a taper and you can either use your trimmer or use a 5 op blade. And to set my first guideline, I'm going to be using my clipper, no guard, with the lever all the way open. Now, not a lot of space back here to work with, and you can notice the hair growth pattern grows a little, a little funky, grows to the sides on some areas. So you're going to see me moving my blade all over the place. This is just so I can cut against the grain at all times. All right, and to begin fading out this guideline, we're gonna start with the no guard all the way closed and just tap the bottom of this guideline. Once we complete that, we move on to the middle lever position. And what we're doing is we're flicking out as we get close to the top of this guideline. And to finish erasing this guideline, we're gonna use that same no guard but with the lever at a quarter open, using our corners, going right underneath that spot we just hit with the lever at the middle position. At this part, we begin the down fading process. And what we're doing is we're using the one guard at the middle position and going right underneath the very top of where this undercut ends. We follow that down by closing the lever with that same number one guard and going right underneath the spot we just hit. And notice how I focus a lot in that middle area. That's because this is a kid's haircut and there tends to be a little bit of an indentation in that area in most kids. So you're gonna make sure that you work at that spot just a little more than usual. And to continue with that down fade, we're going to drop down to the zero guard, which in wall is equivalent to a 0.5 guard. And we're going to go in the middle position right underneath the area we were just fading down. And to finish off my fade system or my guard system, I'm going to go to that same zero guard all the way closed and try to blend these two lines together. Now when it comes to her hair texture, this isn't going to do it. So you're going to have to go back to your no guard and do a little lever play for the most part at the lever open and the lever three fourths open, which should be enough to blend this out. When you're doing this, these finishing touches or touch up work, you want to make sure you're using your corners only. The last thing you want to do is push this fade up. And before moving on to edging the sides, I notice a little bit of a dark area. So I'm going to go back to my number one guard at the close position and see if I can't smooth it out. Because of the small area, for this edge up, I chose to go with my cordless wall heroes, also known as the G-Wiz trimmer. If you haven't checked out my video on these, when you're done with this video, make sure y'all stop by. All right, and I'm gonna shut up for a few seconds so y'all can check out this edge up. Thank you. 
and we all know that after setting down an edge up it'll expose some of those imperfections so I'm gonna go back and just do a little bit of lever play a little bit of cleanup work and get this taper right this is also only my second time cutting her hair or at least tapering her hair uh, so for next time that I do this I've learned that I need to make my guidelines just a little bit thicker All right, so now that the fade is all wrapped up, we're gonna move into the design. And I fast forwarded it just because it was about four minutes in real time. And what you're seeing me do here is just set the foundation. I'm just using my corners, not really being like precise, I guess you could say, um, and making sure that I leverage my smaller trim and some of those harder to get areas. And once my foundation has been set, I'll go back and widen up some of these lines making sure that I keep some wider than others so that this design can have some type of a flow to it. And in other times where I've done designs, I've always gone back with the trimmer and turned it the other way around, but because of the hair growth pattern on her, I felt like it wasn't really necessary, and I also didn't want to put an actual um, razor to her head because she was showing irritation just with the trimmer itself. And once the design is completed, just like on the edge up, it will reveal some imperfections. So I'm going to go in, just do some touch up work and see if we can't get this haircut wrapped up and looking smooth. When I was doing the touch ups, I realized that I was overworking some areas, specifically in the middle bottom of this taper. Um, and it seemed like there was darkness, but it was actually just a little bit of redness from the skin being overworked. All right, y'all, it's that time. It's the end of this video. This is the finished product. This is just a back undercut on a little girl with a small design. Let me know what y'all think. And as always, thank you for stopping by, checking out the content. Make sure you're subscribed, and I'll catch you on the next one.